Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to curl my natural curly hair. I just wanted to let you know that I am a natural curly girl. I have not had a perm in nine years. And when I usually get it straightened, it's so silky straight that I'm unable to put curls in it because they'll just fall out. But now that my hair's been, you know, dirty for at least a couple of days, more like a week, um, <laughs> I'm able to put curls in it and they'll actually stay and last. And so if you want to know how I got these va va vum curls, then stay tuned. This is my hair, all of it in its glory. Um, my hair is already straightened. It's been straightened for about two to three weeks. Don't judge me, but this is my hair. So guys, the items you're going to need, you're going to need a brush. And it did come with this handy dandy glove because the temperature will get hot on this curling iron. This is a Sephora Sculptor. It is a one inch curling titanium barrel. I got it at Sephora, really reasonable. And as well, here's the barrel. You want to make sure you have heat protectant. I'm using Tresemme and as well as the light Moroccan oil. Gotta have you some clips and as well as some bobby pins. I have me a pit because I could not find my comb to go ahead and part my hair as well as some holding spray. You can use any hairspray, make sure it won't weigh your hair down though. I'm gonna take my hair out of this ponytail and let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my pick as my parting tool. <laughs> I don't know where that comb is, but it works. So I'm just combing through the hair to get any snags or tangles out of my hair. And I'm doing all sides. I'm going to eventually part my hair here um, to where it's three, three pieces, two on, two on the, in the front and one in the back. And you'll see in a minute that I'm basically going to turn around and get this back area, which is usually hard if you don't have a mirror in front of you, a big mirror, or you don't have someone to help you. So you're going to notice that I'm having a bit difficulty, but usually you go from ear to ear. I just do it so you can be basically be able to section your hair off and um, it's just easier because if you have a lot of hair like I do, you need to section your hair off. So, yeah. So now you can see I'm going to go ahead and twist this up. I'm going to use my little clippy to clip this hair out of the way. And then I'm going to basically do the front. There's no particular way that I'm doing this. I am just twisting it up, putting the clippy on. Basically just getting it out the way. Twist it up, putting the clippy on. Oh, she cute. <laughs> uh, I'm so silly but yeah whoa, whoa. and so I'm gonna go ahead and get started in the back I just find it easier and I am going to section this area off I'm going to use my heat protectant of course and I just spray in the hair from the root to the bottom and then I'm going to go ahead and comb through it or brush through it. My clippy for the other side just to get that hair out of the way. And I'm going to start here with a nice, a nice small piece and um, go ahead with my gloves because like I told you before, these are hot. Ooh, woo, 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 woo. I'm so silly. And I'm taking this nice small section and I'm going to take the hair. Now that is steam, um, but it's from the 
heat protectant. I am not burning my hair. And I realized that I put the glove on the wrong hand because you want it on the hand that the barrel is going to be touching. So, duh. And so here I am, two times a charm. Okay. So now I'm wrapping around the barrel. And um, I want to be able to keep it on. I count to 10 at least, 10 seconds. Were y'all counting? I'm counting and jamming at the same time, as you can see. <laughs> and so that's about 10. And so I slowly unwind the hair, and then I also catch it. That way I'm letting it rest and cool, and then I let go and release. So that's a nice little curl right there. You wanna make sure the other hair doesn't uh, stick to that hair because then you'll realize that you didn't you, you got missing pieces and you don't want that so I'm gonna show you guys again and then from here on out I'm gonna fast forward this whole back area and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you the front but that should be about 10 and then I'm gonna slowly release And voila, I catch, there you go. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and fast through this part. Enjoy. So I'm going to go up here and uh, comb out the front part. Of course, use my handy dandy heat protecting spray. I love that red color. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the same thing to the front. Section it off pieces, brushing the hair. And as you can see, I did it again. I took the um, glove off and put it on the wrong hand. But I'm going to change it up in a minute because that barrel is hot okay and so <laughs> i'm gonna be wise you see that <laughs> like uh-uh <laughs> too hot for my hand so i did just switch it up and just going the same way i did the back now i'm just doing the front So this area here, I always want to make sure that very front of my hair is really straight. So that's why I took the barrel and just straightened it a little in the front because uh, that's the area that is very prone to curling up. So yeah, that way it's nice and straight.
just feeling around to make sure I didn't miss any pieces because that can happen. So I'm checking all areas. I don't feel anything that isn't curled. Sad. See you guys? I'm going to put some of my Moroccan oil in just a little bit because this can weigh your hair down and this is the light. So I'm putting it around my edges and the back and I'm zhuzhing the hair. I'm taking the pick and zhuzhing it more. Zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. Because I don't want any of those uh, pieces or parts to be showing throughout the hair. So I'm doing the zhuzhing more by bending your hair down and frizzing up with your fingers. I'm using my hairspray. And then, voila. <laughs> Had to give it to y'all, y'all. That slow motion for ya. So pretty. Now that you didn't got all cute for the day, when it's time to go to bed, let me show you how I preserve these curls. You want to be able to get your bobby pins, and I'm going to do a pin curl method. I'm going to take my hair and pin it up. I don't do it, you know, perfect. I just want it to be in the same curl pattern because I do like that messy bun look. And you want to take your bobby pins and pin them down. So you will look a little like Princess Leia. These are some pictures <laughs> that I'll show you but it will preserve your curls. See? Thank you guys so much for watching. I love these curls. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.